Hi, I've got two of these USB uh, car chargers here today. So I'm going to rip both of them apart, take a look at them, and run a few tests on them as well. I've got both of these off of eBay. I believe they were 99 cent specials as well. Um, see if they're any better than those uh, USB wall chargers that I ripped apart a couple weeks ago. So I don't expect a, a whole heck of a lot or good performance out of these things. Usually they can't uh, put out the kind of current that they claim. So this one's rated for uh, 1000 milliamps or one amp. Uh, and it's a single port. This one here has got two ports and uh, it's not marked on here anywhere, but according to the seller uh, that I got it from, they claim that it's one amp uh, per, per port. So it should be able to put out a total of two amps. Expecting there to be a switching regulator in both of these. Uh, I'm going to guess that it's going to be an MC6403, uh, I believe it is, uh, in both of these. This one for sure. This one might have a newer, uh, something newer than that, but we'll see if it does or not. And uh, I really don't think this one will put out the, uh, the two amps as advertised, but... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll rip them apart. Okay, so I'm going to start with this single port one here. First thing to do is just slice the tape here and uh, just trying to see here if this untwists or not, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like there's a bit of a gap in there where it pries off. So, usually not much to them. Okay. So normally in the tip here, you have a fuse that goes in there and this end will unscrew to allow that to come out. So this doesn't even have a uh, fuse on the input. And uh, wow, there is no way that, that this here does one amp. Uh, try and get in there. I don't think I can focus on it. Not enough light. It is a uh, 78L05. Uh, in a TO92 package. So that will be good for... I believe you can push them to around 100 milliamps. Uh, max out of that size of a package. So yeah, there's... Uh, Honestly, there's no point in, in testing this at all then. There's, uh, that's just, it's garbage. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you can, you can get power out of it, but you're not going to get enough. And, uh, I mean, in the case of something like my phone, it, uh, it won't charge off of these, these things at all. It, uh, it sucks too much current, pulls the voltage down and, uh, yeah, so not even going to be bothered. Well, maybe I will just for shit and giggles to see where that drops out at, but there's no way that you're going to be able to get an amp out of that. So I'll move on to this other one instead. So this here, uh, based on the compact size, I'm going to guess that they've foregone the fuse as well. So again, yeah, there's no fuse in there at all. So I ripped it apart. I didn't bother desoldering it. And I found out, it turns out it's an FR9886 uh, DC to DC converter in there. They claim it has up to 23 volt input, two, put out, uh, two amp output. Uh, it's got integrated MOSFETs, uh, 380 kilohertz switching frequency which is how with a two amp uh, regulator they can get away with such a small inductor on the thing. So here's the whole test set up. A little hard to get it all in shot. So get focused in here a little bit better. Um, basically I have it hooked up to my uh, one of my small bench power supplies putting out 12 volts. 
I have the output hooked up to a current sink, the uh, multimeter and oscilloscope. So right now there's no load on it and as you can see it's uh, about 5.37 volts coming out of the thing. So we'll see how it uh, how it performs under load and what the noise is like. So right now there's not, I mean there's a fair amount of noise there, but uh, no more than what I expect out of a switching regulator. They are noisy uh, by nature. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to turn on the uh, current sink here. I'll just have to, whoops, adjust that a bit. So as you can see now it's uh, huge fluctuations there and variations. So I have the current sink set. Uh, I preset it before I started uh, recording here to one amp uh, approximately. It does go a little bit over. I didn't bother uh, trimming and calibrating the thing when I, I constructed it. So it's not quite drawing the maximum amount of current, but let's just see how it performs as we uh, over the entire range here. So there's drawing well, basically no current again. So as I turn it up slowly, you can see the noise doesn't do too bad. It's going to start to get to really jittery till about midway there. Um, of course, I need another meter to be able to check the, the current, but I'll just crank it all the way up. It's saying that peak to peak, you're looking at, oh, yeah, it's pretty close to a, a volt fluctuation there. So the, uh, the multimeter is reading fairly steady, though, which is uh, interesting. Usually you get it reading a bit lower, but it hasn't dropped a whole heck of a lot. So that would uh, definitely suffice to, uh, to charge your phone up. So I'll just set her back down here. Uh, right to where it's starting to get a little bit more jittery on the output. And we'll just quickly check and see what the uh, the current is. So it starts to get jittery at about 278 milliamps. Um, just in case anybody noticed it's on the volt uh, range, that is correct. I'm simply measuring the voltage drop across my sense resistors on the current sink. And it's uh, it's set up so that one a one volt drop would be one amp. Um, so whatever reading I'm getting there is basically in amps uh, of current that it, it's sinking. So if I crank it all the way up to maximum here, just quickly check, we'll find that it. Uh, like I said it didn't actually calibrate it. So that's almost uh, 1.18 right, 1.17 uh, amps there so I would say that this thing probably could handle doing uh, two amps unfortunately I don't have uh, I don't have a larger current sink I'm planning on building one but I haven't at this point and I don't have any other dummy loads to hook up so here we are with the same setup with that uh, first one that I ripped apart, the one that just had the 7805 in it. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the output's a lot closer to 5 volts and it's a lot quieter, which you expect out of a linear regulator. But that thing is just not going to be able to perform, uh, period. They're not designed to put out that kind of current, so uh, switch it on at the... Uh, with no current here and uh, we'll just start cranking the current up and you can see it's starting to lose regulation pretty bad and I mean yeah there's just nothing it's just in shutdown at that point so yeah even turning it off uh, or the current to uh, sink right down Oh, there we go. Now she's come back. It was probably in thermal shutdown there. 
So I'll just try it. See when she hits shut down. So I'll just turn it back ever so slightly. And uh, same thing, I'll pull the meter and see what was shutting it, at what point it was shutting down there. Uh, it could have been shut down for uh, current, I guess, as well. But uh, we'll just, we'll see. Hundred twenty-two milliamps, uh, which is about what you'd expect. I mean, that's a little bit more than what the thing's rated for, but I mean, yeah. You go over that and it just can't handle it. I mean, there it is, just fails miserably. So absolute junk, not not a surprise. I mean, the, the regulator is performing within its specs. It's just being used uh, in the wrong wrong application here. There, and in case anyone was wondering, the model, it's KY398 uh, was the piece of junk here. And my power supply that I uh, built here, my bench power supply, I added uh, a fixed 5 volt rail on it and put a USB port on for charging. Just as a quick comparison here, I have it hooked up and I'll do the uh, basically the same test again. So I have the uh, the multimeter here hooked up and I'm getting just a little over 5 volts so it's a lot closer than the uh, that switching car regulator and this is with no load. So I'll turn the uh, current right up to the maximum uh, 1.17 amps I believe it was and uh, yeah the voltage does drop a little bit um, some of that will be uh, will be due to, to uh, losses in the wiring inside, uh, unfortunately. But, yeah, it's, you can see there's a bit of switching noise. It's not nearly as bad. I can't remember exactly what I put in it. I know it is a switching regulator. It is not a clean uh, bench supply, but I, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't use it for analog stuff, and I do have a linear supply for that that sort of thing and I figured for charging USB uh, devices they can handle the uh, the noise there on it so yeah just as a, a comparison so that's it I guess for this video so till next time